Mi smo u Italiji, kao što su naši gradoci čini mi se već dobro upoznati, trenutno smo u vozu koji se kreće od Rima do mjesta koji se zove Folonika, kako bi smo stigli u Skarlino gdje jeste zapravo Marina di Skarlino i kažu da se u Italiji uvijek desi nešto interesantno i zaista se desi. Mi smo ovdje u vozu naišli na jednog čovjeka koji se predstavlja kao contemporary artist, što bi bilo umjetnik koji se bavi savremenom umjetnošću. On zapravo radi u jednoj aukcijskoj kući u New York, pa s obzirom na to da često naše gledalce izvještavamo o aukcijskim kućama Christie's, Sotheby's, mogli bismo da čujemo i direktno od čoveka koji radi u jednoj takvoj što se tamo dešava. My name is Marco Valjusi, I'm from Italy, I was born in Italy and been living in the States for about 20 years. And uh, it's interesting about you that uh, your job is is in one of the auction places. So can you tell us how did you start to do that and where is it? Um, I started very, very casually, um, you know, just because I had friends, you know, that I had a good friend that was working there and uh, he kind of like brought me in. Um, and uh, and then I developed um, a certain relationship with um, you know especially a few departments uh, mostly photography and contemporary photography um, department and um, have been working um, with this department for you know ever s since so about uh, maybe six years um, um, my role was um, to you know I assisted the director in um, in um, making the exhibit yeah in making the exhibition like really you know as as attractive as possible uh, you know and and also assisting her with uh, showing um, the you know the photographs to to very high profile clients uh, that want uh, privacy in uh, in what they you know what they're interested in because they don't want to know they don't want other people to know what they are what they're gonna buy and what they may bid on um, so that's pretty much uh, my role, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, do you maybe have the information, I suppose that you have, but I don't know if you're willing to tell me, uh, what's the, uh, the highest price of something that you sold? Uh, as far as photography, you know, prices, oh, I mean, the auction house, probably we, um, as an auction house, I wasn't involved in that sale at all, uh, but, you know, we sold uh, an Andy Warhol uh, with, um, um, like, no, the, uh, we also sold this one at this last sale, like four Marilyns for about $35 million. But the record that we set for an Andy Warhol was actually um, maybe three years ago, and it was like um, Jackie, Jackie O. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, silver, and that was about $67 million. As far as photography, um, because that's where I'm most concerned, um, I think the highest price we um, we sold a photo for was the four Beatles by the Solarized Beatles by Richard Avedon for about seven hundred thousand. So not quite a million dollars, but for a photograph is, is a lot of money because there's not yes. only one. There's probably yeah. like about another uh, ten or fifteen out yeah. there. So that's to yeah, be taken into account point. yeah we also set up um, a record for Diane Arbus just as this at, at this last sale um, for about 600,000 which is also a very high price for a photograph and it was the famous like twins you know like mm -hmm. Diane Arbus was this artist that was was, um, was photographing like um, uh, weird people you know um, weird creatures um, you know like in <laughs> in the human world <laughs> I think it's enough about art and for the end of this conversation I would uh, ask you uh, if you've ever been to uh, Montenegro and if yes, you've been there, uh, yeah. what have you seen and what is it like? Um, <laughs> what have I seen? I was actually, um, I was going to, um, it was it was a, it was a strange uh, situation because I was, well first of all I had a great time, I ended up spending a week in Budva and uh, meeting great um, people from Serbia mm -hmm. and um, my intention was uh, I was taking the boat and uh, go, getting my way to Bar and then continuing through into Albania. Yeah. And uh, when I arrived in uh, in Bar, um, I realized that there was a big event and it was um, the Madonna concert. Yes, yes, mm, yes. And um, so actually, at the at the. <laughs> At the um, at the tourism uh, office of tourism, they told me like you shouldn't go to uh, Albania because there's a big event. And have you ever been to Budva? And I, I had never heard of Budva, and so they convinced me that it was really close, and I should have gone to that experience. So I I kind of like let 
the 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 clerks at the office like persuade mm -hmm. me into doing so, mm -hmm. and I ended up having the best time. It was a uh, really I spent. So you didn't regret it. I absolutely okay. not. I still haven't gone to Albania, which I will do at some point, but I discovered, you know, this great uh, okay. uh, little you country that is Montenegro and the beaches. And it was uh, really a, a special time uh, of the year. It was September. It was beautiful and um, and great people, great, great people, great food, um, very welcoming. And um, I don't know. I haven't been back to Budva. It was going through a big change. Yes. Um, there were a lot of uh, Russian investors. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, so I don't know if ha the way it has changed in in, in these five years. Oh, nice. I would definitely rec I always okay. recommended it to people uh, okay. that wanted to go there. Okay. So we are hoping hoping to to see you again Absolutely. in Montenegro. Absolutely. And uh, thank you very much for Absolutely. this conversation. Very welcome. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah.